few experts. In this video, we will see about the a small change that is called for each detector. So in recent version of the UI path, so they gave the a new feature called for each detector. So once you use the for each activity, so what you have to do, you have to give the collection as the input. The collection may be a, a list of strings, list of integers, or list of objects, list of data tables, anything. Okay. So usually up to now what we do, so we just create a variable, pass, the, pass that variable, the collection variable into that for each, then we have to change the type argument as per the collection. So if it's a list of strings, we have to make the uh, a, a, a type argument as a string. If it's a list of integers or array of integers, we have to make the type argument as an integer in 32. So right, so now, so there is a detection. So let us see, I'm just uh, sharing my screen uh, to show the, so let us see here. I'm just creating a, a variables called array of ink, something like that. So this is a, like a uh, array of integers and uh, integers. Let us see array of uh, str. That is an array of strings. Let us create an array of strings. Array of strings. If you see like a so list collection, so maybe the, you can just call it as a system dot collections dot generic dot system dot collections dot generic dot list. So list of a uh, list of objects or list of boolean or list of uh, anything, list of I'm just using the car, uh, system dot car. Not list of characters, okay, just imagine list of characters. So now I'm just taking the for each activity. So for each just drag and drop. So usually, so we have to change the property called for the for each activity. You have to change the property of type argument usually. So once you uh, give the collection. Now let us see. So type argument is object. So if you just pass the array of integers and automatically the type argument is changed. It is detected that it is an integer collection. Then automatically it is changed to the integer. So let us see the array of strings, array of strings. See, it automatically changes the type argument to the strings. So let us see this one, uh, whether it will work for the collection or not, the collection. So automatically it is converted in the system. See, to understand, so which type of collection it is, so whether it is a, a collection of a dictionary or collection of a, a list, a uh, list of lists, okay? So it will save a development time a little bit. So instead of go with the uh, type arguments or browse the type for that particular thing. So thank you very much. So this is a small update. So thanks for watching and supporting uh, my channel. So please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you very much uh, uh, for this, this, that means for watching and supporting and commenting on that. Okay. So we'll see more updates from the UAPath latest version.